Okay, good morning. The time is 6.15 a.m. And I am so tired. I had a proper shit night's sleep last night. This just comes with being at the back end of a diet. My sleep goes to absolute shit. But yeah, let's get up. Let's crack on the day. All in the life of PT. Let's go. 156.6 pounds this morning. Go, 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 go. And in here is all my meals for the day. So prepared. Yeah, that's class. That's really good. Those flavour drops, 10 out of 10. Anyway, let's sort my bonnet out. Gotta leave in 10 minutes. Hey, full kit ones today, look. Check that out. Okay, the time is 5-7, shooting off to work now. Second coffee of the day, and you know what? I don't think I'm gonna be overly tired despite the lack of sleep because I have had an extra hour in bed because my 6.30 a.m. client canceled yesterday. So an extra hour in bed, I could have filled that slot, but you know what, I thought an extra hour in bed would be good, especially I'm dieting, man, like I want rest. Okay, I am here, I have arrived at work. Plan right now is three hours of PT, half seven till half 10, and then I'll catch up with you afterwards. I'll try and get a few clips of my clients so you can get insight of what a PT session looks like. Okay, the time is just gone half 10 in the morning and that's three hours of PT done. Now I'm getting in my morning steps, so I'm walking to the sunbeds now in the pissing rain. I mean, out of all the times for it to rain, like it's been dry all morning, I go out on my steps and it starts raining. Typical. Oh my God, mate. I don't know if you can see, but this is absolutely taking the Schmeichel. I don't know if I can turn this camera around one sec. Yeah, getting absolutely drenched. So dedicated, mate, walking in the rain. On the way back, we're on the sunbeds and it stopped raining, which makes these steps a little bit easier. I'll be on about 8K steps once I get back, which is two thirds of my daily goal. So I like doing a bulk of my steps early on in the day. Now I'm going to eat meal number one, which is overnight oats. So we've got oats, obviously, 85% dark chocolate. We've got blueberries, we've got cherries, and we've got 30 grams of whey protein. I don't know why I gave you the measurement of the whey protein and nothing else, but there you go. And I've also got a bit of caffeine. So I've got a monster. And the reason I've got that now is because I'm training after 3 p.m. today, I think half three. So I don't want to be consuming a pre-workout at that time because it'll affect my sleep. Plan is now, I've got two hours of work to do for the gym. So that would just be things like inductions, bit of cleaning, boring stuff basically. So I only do eight hours of gym floor work and I do like 30-ish hours of PT. After that, we're training. I say we're, I'm not training with anyone. I'm training on my own. I've got a pool to do and then I've got 300 calories of cardio and then I've got evening clients later. Oh yeah, and I've got one more client after my shift. So I've got a client two till three. Another thing I want to mention is that you probably noticed my meal I just had then is relatively high in calories in comparison to say my total daily intake. Two reasons for that, one, I want energy going into my session later. I'm not someone that will push my calories back so I feel full going to bed. Like I don't care if I feel hungry or full going to bed. That's not an issue for me. I want to be able to train hard in the gym so I can retain muscle mass. So I prefer having my calories, the majority of them, before I train and post obviously for recovery. And second reason why I have like a relatively highish calorie meal at the start of the day is because I want to reduce food focus. If I only have a few calories at the start of the day and I'm you know saving my calories for later, all I'm doing is thinking about food all day. To me, that's not good. Right, that is my two hour shift done. Now making my pre isn't a stim, non-stim. 
a nice pump products. Okay, it's just gone 2 p.m. And I did have a client scheduled in two till three, but I've had a cancellation. So this is something that happens a lot when you're a PT. So if you're thinking about being a PT, just know that you will have to put up with this quite a lot. And yeah, it can be frustrating at times. Anyway, I'm gonna train a little bit earlier now then. So I'm gonna get my pre-workout meal in. So I'll show you that now. So what we've got is chicken, mixed veg. So carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, and sweet potato. Also going to have banana, which Looks like it's seen better days, but it's, it's fine. I'm not eating the skin. And also got my pre-workout. So non-stim pump products. Yeah, let's get ready to train. Right, just pulled up at the gym. So that's where I'm training today, Progress Works, which is where I always train. So you might be wondering why don't I just train at work? I used to, and it's just not ideal. Main reasons, equipment, better here. I don't get people interrupting me while I'm training. When I'm training, I just wanna be focused on what I'm doing and not speaking to members. And the atmosphere is just a lot better. The environment I'm in, I'm able to have better workouts. The session today is pull, so not the most demanding session, although I've got cardio afterwards, which isn't, isn't fun. I then back to work and some evening step. Follow along, let's go. Okay, logbook wrote out. Now time to train. Paul, let's go. I'm taking shots at the enemy. I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy. If I got something to say, you better let me speak. Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything. I pop off with the new rock. Electronic, blow the sonic roof up. I'm too honest when I take a few shots. They're too toxic, need to take the new song. Save me, cause I don't need saving. It's everything I've been chasing. All here for the taking. Don't wanna test your luck with me. I think I've had enough disease. I'm sick of all the bad thoughts, people who are half done. You are not as tough as <laughs> There we go, showered and refreshed. That's pull and cardio done. So I did an extra 100 calories of cardio just so I can do 100 less post legs tomorrow because cardio after legs is torture. Now I've got around 1,000 steps left to do which I'll accumulate with my next three hours of PT. But I'm gonna go back to work now and get my post-workout meal in. Okay, the time is, I don't know if you can see that, that's definitely not gonna focus on that, is it? The time is 9.38, oh, there you go. 9.38, and now you can't see me. <laughs> this ain't a good start, is it? A long day, a standard day in the life of a PT. This is just what it's like, a normal day. You get up early, you get to work, you, you do your own thing during the day, and then you have evening clients. It's just how it is. You're working around other people's schedules, so you often have long days, and that's the reality of it. Okay, finally, I am home, and the time is eight minutes past 10. It's time for a decaf coffee. It is needed. I'm going to enjoy that decaf. I'm going to do some editing. Yeah, just do some social media posts. So as you can imagine, as a personal trainer, it's quite important to stay on top of social media. It helps generate leads. And I just like documenting my own training, to be honest. That's a day in the life of a personal trainer. I hope it was insightful for people that are potentially wanting to become a personal trainer or just people interested in general in terms of what a personal trainer does. Basically, I just hope this video wasn't a waste of your time and you enjoyed it. But yeah, I'm gonna sign out, do all that YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe, would really appreciate it. Especially subscribe, let's get to a thousand subscribers, that'd be amazing. But yeah, I'm out, see you later.